and welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite Decepticon, Danny, and today I am taking a look at the new and improved, <laughs> actually probably not improved, <laughs> Hasbro Transformers Cybertron Leader Galaxy Force Optimus Prime. <laughs> ah, you know what? This figure, he's pretty cool. Um, They did a pretty good job on him. To remaking this figure, I mean, like, there is the backpack issue, of course, and this guy has a lot of stuff on him, but, yeah, I don't know, I don't mind this figure, I wasn't like, oh my god, I gotta get it, right, but, um, recently, when I was at the Valley Village, I found this, I think I paid six bucks, uh, six ninety nine for this, I found the original, um, from the Cybertron uh, series, or the Cybertron, uh, show, um, Galaxy Force Optimus Prime, and yeah, he is almost in com almost complete. Like he doesn't have his gun, and then that one earpiece fell off and stuff. But you know what? After I fa I found this first, so I was like, I saw that that was coming out, the new one. And I was like, ah, eh, maybe I'll get it. And I got the old one. And I I wish they still made figures like this. Like this is in the, in the days when they could just use as much plastic as they had to, and it was like a tougher plastic. This figure is a figure to behold, beheld, behold, beheld, beheld. Woo! But he's amazing, I can't believe I found him, and, and yeah, I got the new guy. Which is the new way of Transformers, you know, made a little cheaper, a little lighter, but the, it is a, it is pretty cool compared to the old one. The old one, though, I would say I do like better, even though I never collected a lot of Cybertron stuff. But yeah, both great figures in their own way. I know a lot of people, like, online, they said, like, the new one, like, they're just not for it compared to the old one, because... The old one was a master of blockage, a master of plastic, a master of intensity. <laughs> and yeah, the series, like from the Hasbro side, the series with this Energon and Armada, they tried to say Hasbro wanted it to be a complete, like, trilogy. And yeah, in Japan, that was not the case. They kind of changed things and made it its entirely its own show, apparently. And then uh, the American uh, release of Cybertron and stuff. They did change it to fit in with Armada and Energon, so, you know, they even changed some animation and a whole bunch of lines and tried to make it all fit together, but, yeah, um, either way, I wasn't a big fan. I didn't mind Energon and Armada, like, they're kind of boring still, and, yeah, I thought the animation was weird, but Cybertron especially, I don't like that animation for it. I'd just rather have the old school, you know, I always thought, like, why isn't it just, like, the old school stuff the way it was in 1980s? <laughs> The old cell shaded animation, you know what I mean? But yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, would I recommend it? Eh, it's up to you. It's preference. If you have the original, you might not want it. If you like remakes of things, you might like it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get into the toy. Look at it a little closer. I am happy I picked it up though. I mean, just to have it. I don't have a lot of primes. You know, more of a Decepticon fan, but hey, since I found this one at Value Village for like $6.99, I was like, I'll try out the new Prime, compare them, and see what they're all about. So, yeah, I never really watched a lot of Cybertron or any of that. I remember seeing it on TV, and I just could barely get through it. I was like, what has Transformers come to? But, you know, eh, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. It's preference. I'm more used to the older stuff. You know, I am a G1 fan, an older animation fan, cell shaded stuff. So, yeah, so... Thank you for being here, and we'll check out this figure. Stick around for that outro video. And yeah, let's check out some Galaxy Force Optimus Prime. All right, let's check out the new Siege Prime from the Cybertron line back in the day. It was a Galaxy Force Optimus Prime. You can see the transformation on the back and the wonderful art on the side of the box. And yeah, I wasn't sure about grabbing this guy right away. But since I found the original one at Valley Village, I thought I'd give this one a try. It comes with the handy dandy instructions. And like I said, uh, I don't know, snippety snap him out of there. I don't know if I already said this, but uh, he is an Ultra Magnus uh, remold. So he is the original uh, leader uh, class from this line, uh, Ultra Magnus. But a very amazing head sculpt. Get his little uh, heel spurs out so he can stand up a little better. And yeah, you can put his uh, water guns from the uh fire hydrant fire hydrant fire truck mode and yeah you look at him hold those things he looks pretty awesome <laughs> yeah not one of my favorite figures but you know what i don't have a lot of primes and i just thought hey since i found the original I'll probably pick this up and kind of do a little comparison and see what they're all about and i didn't mind that ultra vagueness mode you know his arm motion he can only get so much and he does have the big backpack on the back but 
Uh, it's a common thing with these types that have lots of pieces. And yeah, his head is on a ball a joint. You can move it around. A nice prime head there. Very, very awesome. <laughs> and yeah, he looks cool. He's bulky. He's chunky. He... You know, if you're into this stuff, into that old that old line, you will absolutely love this guy. And yeah, there's just so much to see and uh, yeah, so much to play with. He's really cool. <laughs> He's really sharp. He's a fantastic figure. And yeah, I'm just happy I was able to get him. Uh, you know, I haven't seen a lot of them out. Only this one since I got him at a Walmart a little while ago. And you can flip those back there so you can actually have them uh in his gun like have his gun in his hand and stuff like that so yeah we'll put his gun in his hand and yeah it comes with this little gun that's the accessory and he's ready to battle shooting up the shooting up the place <laughs> but yeah without his armor there's the little prime which i actually like better and a lot of people i heard said oh you can get the 360 arm swivel and 180 I heard people saying they enjoy this mode a little bit more than the actual mode, and I could agree, even though I'm going to keep him in his Galaxy upgrade mode, but I really like this little Prime underneath. They did a Prime job. He's a Prime example of a Prime, don't you think? He's just Prime, Prime, Prime time? <laughs> uh, but yeah, he. look at this little Prime inside. I really like him. I really want to get my hands on him, and I did get my hands on him. And they did an amazing job on this figure. Like, uh, you know, they are cheaper. They're not as good as they used to be, of course, and all that. But, hey, why not? They did a good job. I'm loving this little prime. Love this little head sculpt. Fantastic head sculpt. And I think it's about time to dance. So yeah, the verdict, um, pick him up if you don't have the original, um, if you like the original and you see this guy out, and you're thinking, leaning maybe towards on getting it, getting it, it's a fun figure, like I said, it is a remold of the, uh, you know, retool of the Ultra Magnus that we've already had, you know, same type of trans uh, transformation into that mode, you know, so, yeah, just click his legs back on and stuff like that, so you are used to the transformation uh, and everything, but... I don't mind him, like I said, since I got the new big guy, <laughs> I don't mind this little guy. And yeah, it's just kind of cool to collect and see how Transformers has changed and cheapened <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, thank you for being here. Um, I hope you enjoy. Check out the new podcast, trying to get the podcast flowing. And a few people have said they'd rather, um, you know, it's good that it's on YouTube, but they want it to get it off a site, which I'm working on now. So pretty soon they'll be, I'll have the link up on Twitter, uh, Instagram, everywhere so you can get the podcast. Uh, and yeah, thank you for uh, the people that watched it, all the feedback and thank you so much love being here i love doing nerdy stuff i love collecting and playing with these figures and just yeah seeing where it all goes you know i'm a huge fan a huge 
fan of um, nostalgia, huge fan of Transformers and all that junk. So check it out. It's a fun podcast. And love you all. Thank you for being here. And yeah, stay strong, stay safe, stay positive. And this dolphin might even catch you on Sabatron, y'all. Goodbye.